Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name's Riley. Thanks for being here. If you don't know me already, I am a cheerleader at the University of Florida. This is gonna be my second year, but this video is gonna kind of be like a recap of last season. So last year was my first year on the cheer team and we have two teams. We have an orange team and we have a blue team. So the orange team typically does home football games. They cheer women's basketball, gymnastics, and volleyball. And then the blue team does all home football games, all away football games games, men's basketball, gymnastics, and volleyball. So last year I was on the blue team, so that means that I got to travel. I actually filmed a couple of videos while we were traveling, so if you haven't seen those, I will definitely put them in the card up here. But for this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite away games that we got to go to this year. I'm going to use this little ranking website. I'm sure you've seen it before. How it's going to go, obviously my favorite away game is going to be ranked number one, second favorite number two, third favorite number three and so on. There's a lot of different factors that are gonna play into like how I'm ranking these away trips. I'm gonna try and remember everything. I'm gonna try and base it on like the, the stadium, the crowd, our hotel, the food that we ate while we were there, the bus ride there. So there's like a lot of things that play into these rankings. With that being said, let's go ahead and recap our first away game. I'm gonna be using Tier Maker to make this little tier list and you'll see it on the screen right here. So let's get started, shall we? The first away game we went to was the University of South Florida, which is in Tampa. So we got to travel all the way back to Tampa. That's my hometown. So I loved being able to go back there for like one of my first, it was the first away game for me. So that was a fun experience. My whole family was there. Because this was the first away game, I was very, very nervous. We had already had a home football game, but we had not had an away football game yet. I just was nervous. I wasn't going to hit my stunts. I had a new partner. Nate was actually my partner for this game. Because Nate was my partner, it kind of bumps up a little bit. We also won this game, which is exciting. I also remember tumbling a lot during this game, and it was hot. I think to start, I'm going to put USF to pretty good. Wasn't my favorite, but it wasn't my least favorite, so we'll go pretty good. The next game that we went to was Kentucky. I did film this one. This one is in a vlog. I'll have it linked up there. The bus ride. Longest bus ride I've ever done. I get motion sick, so I was very nervous that I was going to get sick, but luckily I didn't. The air conditioning actually broke on our bus when we were heading to Kentucky, so that wasn't very fun. I had my first Bucky's experience. I think that was Kentucky. I really did love their stadium, and the fans were really loud, really great. I remember losing this game unfortunately. The hotel we stayed at was so pretty and I remember it was a night game so we had like all day to kind of chill, take our time. So I enjoyed that. I would say overall it was a really good trip. The only negative things I had about this one was of course we lost but also because the bus ride was really long. But I did it. It was manageable, so I think I'm gonna put this one at pretty good for now. We might switch some things around once I go through all of them, but I think that's where she's gonna stay for now. The third away game, we went to LSU. This was such a fun trip. This one was the one where we got to do a lot of fun stuff before the game. We got to see the tiger. They have a tiger on their campus in like a huge enclosure. So we went to go see the tiger. That was really cool. Um, UF actually used to have a live alligator. Don't know what happened to him, but he's not here anymore. Anyways, I also got to try beignets for the first time. They were amazing. LSU's campus was really pretty. I enjoyed it. Their stadium was, eh, their fans were nice. We didn't have too many Gator fans at that game, but my dad actually went to this game. This is a very funny story, very crazy story. Um, How do we even start this? This was a game that I brought the wrong uniform to, and if you wear the wrong uniform, you can't cheer at the game. So my dad, if you wanna hear the whole story, I can probably make a whole video about it, but I'm just gonna say, it happens. This is the first time that I've ever had a problem like this. Like, I'm usually very responsible, very on top of things at all times. Of course, my first season of UF Cheer, I bring the wrong uniform. To be fair, we have a lot of shirts and uniforms that are similarly named. So like this shirt is called Orange Florida Cheer shirt, whatever. We also have an orange uniform that says Florida on it. So that's pretty much what happened. I thought we were supposed to bring the orange gator head uniform and I thought it said orange gator head shirt because we have an orange shirt with a gator head on it. So 
I just, my brain was being a little dyslexic there. So besides that, this was my favorite game ever. This one, I know it's like controversial, but this one's going to fave. I don't know why the logo cut off, but LSU is my favorite, even though I brought the wrong uniform. The next away game that we went to was when we played Georgia in Jacksonville. It's a neutral site game. I remember this one being really fun because from Gainesville, Jacksonville is only like, what? an hour, hour and a half maybe. So this is a quick and easy drive. The whole team went, so we had both teams there, the orange team and the blue team. So I got to like hang out with my newbie friends and that was really, really fun. I remember the blue team, our team got to go a day early and we got to do this really fun appearance. We got to wear my favorite uniform. We took pictures with Georgia's cheer team. So that was really cool. There was a YouTuber that I used to watch. She'd made like college cheer videos who was on the Georgia team. So I got to meet her. I was like, hey, I watch your videos. It's kind of fun, kind of cool. And then we did like a performance. I believe it was a yacht club. They had this awesome room that we shared with the Georgia cheerleaders. And when we did the performance, we did like a couple school songs, like the fight song and Boys March and Gator Spell Out, stuff like that. We did a performance and then Georgia did a performance. So it was cool to like watch them. It was almost like back to my competitive cheerleading days. I remember we got new uniforms for this game. So that was really cool. We got to take pictures in them before the game. We also got to switch sides during the game, which we typically don't usually do. So we started on the far end zone and ended up on the near end zone. So that was cool. We got to like hit both sides of fans because the Florida fans are on one side of the stadium and Georgia fans are on the other. And I also remember they did a flyover. Jets flew over as we were doing the national anthem. That was really freaking cool. The fans were really loud, but unfortunately we lost. So I think, I think I'm going to put Georgia at pretty good as well. And that makes me want to move USF, we're gonna put that one down to mid. Mm, actually, I'm gonna put USF to not good. And then I'm gonna bump Kentucky down to mid, Georgia, LSU. Yeah, okay, so this is the order that we're feeling so far. We have two more little away games to go through. The next away game that we went to was when we went to South Carolina. I remember this was only like a five hour drive, was not bad at all. This was like more towards the winter time, so it was freezing during this game, but we got to wear headbands. And the headbands, oh my gosh, when I was little, I would watch the UF cheerleaders, and when they wore headbands, there's something, just something about college cheerleaders when it's cold out, headbands, you get to wear your hair down, it's just chef's kiss you know and we wore warm-ups for the whole game because it was really cold and as floridians we were not used to the weather <laughs> south carolina's cheerleaders were and they were in there like they had long sleeve uniforms i think but still they were just in their uniforms i'm like i don't know how you guys are doing this but go off we didn't even do like that crazy of stunts because it's hard to do chair stunts in pants especially slippery pants so we didn't do much of that. We didn't do any tumbling because when it's cold, if you're a cheerleader, you know, or like soccer or football, everything just hurts 10 times more when it's cold out. So when you're constantly pounding your toes and your feet to the ground and flipping your body over, when your body's freezing, it hurts like 10 times more. So we kind of held off on that. So that being said, it made it a really easy game. They had a chicken, a live chicken. That was cool. This was definitely one of my more on the favorite side. So I'm gonna put it at pretty good. The last game that we had was the Gasparilla Bowl game versus USF. We got to go back to Tampa again. This game was also really cold and I remember the grass being really slippery and I was slipping all over the place. I'm pretty sure when we ran out the flags, somebody tripped and fell and ate it. <laughs> So that was fun. I remember their fans being super loud, super loud. The day before we also did an appearance, just the blue team did. So we got to, it was right on the Tampa boardwalk. They had UF's band and then the cheerleaders. And then on the other side they had UCF's band and then their like dancers. They didn't have the cheerleaders, which kind of sucked because I was looking forward to watching them. They have a really, really good cheer team, if you don't know. But it was still fun. It was kind of a long appearance because they would play one song on our side and then UCF would play a song and then we went back and forth playing different like school songs. So it was cool to see like their traditions and they got to see ours. It was a cool game because it was a bowl game, but unfortunately we lost, so... I also was recovering from COVID when I cheered this game and it was really hard for me. This one was probably my least favorite. Yeah, 
especially because we lost. So we're going to go at nah. I don't ever want that to happen again. The stadium was great. I actually really, I mean, it was a fun atmosphere, but because we lost and like the vibes, nah, nah. Okay, so here's my list so far. I'm gonna go through it like one more time to make sure this is my finalized favorites list. LSU, favorite, easy. Georgia, definitely second favorite. South Carolina, also second favorite. Kentucky, yeah, it was fun. Wasn't my least favorite, but it was still fun. Um, USF, I was very nervous, so yeah. Wasn't wasn't a great game. And then finally, UCF. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That was kind of my list of favorite away games that we got to go to this last year. I really am looking forward to the away games this year. So maybe I will make the same video next year when we've gone through all of our away games next year. I think there's only three, but it still should be fun. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I posted a whole lot of pictures from all of the away games, so if you want to see more of that stuff, it's over on my Instagram. My Instagram will be linked in the description as always, so definitely make sure to check that out. I also posted a couple vlogs from the away games this year, like the Kentucky one was super fun, and I filmed the bowl game. So if you want to watch that stuff, just check out my cheer playlist. I have a whole playlist on my channel full of cheer vlogs or cheer related content videos. And after you do all of that, I'll hopefully see you in my next video. Peace.